starting from the closed door. <clears throat> so, one of the things that I like to do is this, this, and this. So there you have attack in the back, okay? If he begins to fight it, you potentially have a way to get to the top and then, oh my God, look at what's over there. This is just basically my right hand on his sleeve, okay? I'll pop this off here, pull him down with my legs, and then I'll push his hand, okay, down towards his left knee. From here, I'll kind of scoot my hips out because I don't know if I am going to take his back from here. If I potentially am going to sweep him, it all depends on what he does, or maybe I'll just come up. If I start driving weight into him and he pushes back into me, I have a fairly easy sweep going the opposite way. The whole concept really is you on the bottom, disrupting their ability to posture by dragging arms across, okay? So you have both arms on the same side. If he grabs the belt, okay? So here, and I loop this under here. As my hips go up, I got tension here. As my hips drop, I'm gonna pop his hand off to my left, which is against the thumb. And then I'm gonna go here, because maybe I'll go here, here, and now potentially uh, back takes and all kinds of stuff. If he begins to kind of roll to his knees, I can get up and begin to attack the turtle set. Okay. Also, you can do this, which I think we did on Monday. Mm -hmm. Look. From here, see his arms are both on the same side of the body. I have the key lock here, okay, that I'm finishing, okay. If he removes his arm, I can go here, okay, and I can begin to take him this way here and sweep him using this lapel. But what I want to show you guys and we've, we've done this before where you're using this lapel here, okay? You chop that arm and your hips up and you're pulling it across as your hips move out this way to the left, okay? His arm's stuck, I'll let him pull that arm out. He will pull this arm all the way out and you take this and you can feed it this way here, okay? And now you have a good control here Okay. Oftentimes they'll posture up. And you have a nice sweep. So let's try that. Okay. This is what happens when I try to get his arm up and over, but in reality, I'll leave my elbow up. And I feed it from. Okay? From here, I can put my leg here, or maybe even here. This is kind of a modified his or hers Gregorian here, or I'll use this as a sweep. An arm. I just gotta be careful not to extend my own arm with that. Okay? So, what we're gonna do is <clears throat> very simple. Okay? You're gonna feed it, just as I taught you guys, you're gonna chop it. You're gonna be here, but you're gonna leave your elbow up now. He's gonna unloop his arm. And you're gonna pull him in. Your left hand grabs. And notice you're choking him already with this hand right here, okay? Now, what I want you to do is, you'll see that little, that's Jason taught. Who was here when Jason bib. taught the uh, bib choke? Okay, this is the bib choke from the closed guard. So look, I fed it. Remember, cross face measure me on top side control. Cross face, I fed his own lapel. And now look, see the bib right here? I just gotta move him off to this side. 
and then pull and push it. Okay. Tim, sorry, <laughs> Phil, Phil, Professor Phil makes better action faces than you do, but he's a black belt, so against it. Look, this lapel is a fantastic way to control their arm right here. If I drag it over, yeah, see, if I keep my elbow tight, look, I can still keep this over. Here, uh -huh. I have an arm in, look. Maybe I'll go here, here. Stick that right through, oh, man. and do Bernie's slice of death. I just said, let's call it Bernie. Or here, I'll just maybe go here, hook that leg, and sweep him over. It goes over the arm, and it's up to you whether or not you let them slide, slide under the arm. Before you even start doing that, how do you? That's what, yeah, that's what we're trying to do. Okay, okay. You know, and I mean, I can try and stop him, but there's no way. I need to start controlling his arms, too. Yeah. He's going to get it out. Look. So you pick your poison. Yep. Yes, look, I'm here. If I'm here, look, I have this. I have basically a key lock. It's, it's stuck in my head, mm -hmm. okay, and my knees are up. Okay, so it's stuck in, in the V of my hip, and I'm applying pressure to the back. So here I have a key lock here. Okay, if I leave my elbow up, here, I'll loop it here. here. And as I'm pulling, what happens is that his head goes that way. You don't even have to pick this leg up. Look, I can fish it now. And what's nice is, I have the bib choke from the mouth. Okay. okay. So now let's talk about just simply how to get here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna pull there, the right lapel out, okay? Put it in your right hand. Okay. You're gonna reach up, break their posture, and you're gonna grab it, thumb down, right here, okay? From here, you're just gonna go, just like Jason showed you here, okay? right where the bib ends, as you see, like the baby bib. Here, thumb, so I can punch, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna pull him to the left. And if I can, get my legs high, so that my right hand can push and extend, and my left hand can pull him into my right hand. Okay, so one more time. Okay, look. Set the lapel. Let's say I, I loosen the heat. Yeah, here, here, look. Right there. And look, we'll do this next, the slice of death, right here. This works good. Mm -hmm. How do I know? I can feel it. How do I use it? <laughs> <laughs> so look, we're here, all right? And now I'm just gonna from right about down here, it's a little bit twisted here. I need to tilt them to the left as I begin to extend them away and use my legs here as I pull with the left. I'm gonna push with the right. Is your right leg pushing him down? Yes. Or out? I'm. I just want to control his body because my legs got to do something. So they have to be somewhere. So they're either gonna be doing nothing. They're gonna be down here, which is pointless, or they're gonna be controlling yeah. the posture here. Okay. So if I lose all that, I have this right here. I have all kinds of stuff here. I can go to Omo Plata here. I can go to Triangle here. Here, here, here. There's all kinds of wonderful stuff going on. And it all starts with the lapel. So what you're gonna do is very simple, okay? You're gonna chop there. Inner elbow, you feed that lapel, they're gonna unloop it. You're gonna go look right there. If you look at the video of Mike and I rolling, I pulled out his lapel, he pulled out my lapel. I did this, he did this, and then I did this. <laughs> so look, you're gonna feed it and you're gonna break him down with the posture here. Okay? Break the posture down. Right here, find this part right here and tilt him to the left. Put your right foot on the mat. 
you out, get your leg real high as you pull with the left and extend with the right. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice and very, very horrible. Okay? <laughs> Let's try it. One, two, three. You're going to feed it from the right to the left.